Hey. Hey, Renee, I'm back. Uh, yeah, you probably see my hair is a bit messy. I showered. I haven't, I haven't dried hair, dried hair, dry, dry clean it. No, um, it's not uh, dry it. And I want to film, so it looks a bit messy. Deal with it. Anyway, now. I'm going to film a video I've been thinking about doing for a long time. It's just kind of pushed forward. And now I'm filming it. Watch, you may ask. This is Offer Spotlight of Hollyborn. Hollyborn has written these and a few more books. She's a British author. She mainly ri writes. I was about to say, mainly reads. <laughs> she mainly writes YA, but she's written some adult as well. Uh, all of her books, yeah, all of her books are contemporary, so just so you know that. Uh, she started with writing, <clears throat> sorry, she started writing two, three standalones in the start of this decade, and then she started reading, uh, reading, started writing a uh, trilogy, and that would be this trilogy. As I say, as I hold up two books, I went to the library to get some books for uh, this video because even though I love all of the authors, or I love the authors, I don't all own all of the books I love because I don't have a mansion and also because sometimes I get books from the library and then I just kind of don't prioritize buying them because even though I love them, I prioritize uh, buying new books or books I haven't read that much. Like, of course, some of the books... Are, it's not like all of these books I own are books like I've never read before both uh, both them. But a lot of them are, actually. But anyhow. So yeah, I went to the library to get some books uh, for, this, uh, for this video. And I only found two in the series. But there are... It is, a, it is a trilogy. So imagine a book in... At the end here. Because the last book is not here. Anyway, this is first book. Am I normal yet? And this is second book. How hard can love be? Uh, the whole trilogy uh, focuses on three friends. And they can be read, the books can be read as companion books. Because they're not like one whole story. They're more like stories of these friends. This group of friends. Uh, so... But they take place like after each other. So if you read this one before this one, you'll get slightly spoiled on this one. On this one, just so you know. Uh, this one is about <clears throat> a girl who's I think she's new at her school. I don't remember perfect uh, correctly, but anyway, exactly. Uh, but anyway, this is about a teen with mental health issues. Am I normal yet? She's like wanting to feel normal, and about her journey on being more, as well as slightly more secure in herself, in her self-esteem. And there's also, a, in this book, she meets their two friends that she'll get through there, that she'll, the friends group that they'll join. They also start a feminist book club, no, sorry, feminist club in this one, which the feminist club goes through all of the book books. So that's kind of like the common theme, all the books are feminists. Why are feminists? So, it's very fun if you want to read uh, some feminism book in like a uh, easier non-fiction book. No, non-fiction, fiction book. <laughs> it is fiction. And then you have this one where the character goes to... Oh. <laughs> Just an <laughs> exclusive first edition. Didn't see that before now. Uh, anyway, the protagonist in this one goes to the States because her dad left for the States. So she has to rekill with her dad and get to know her stepmom, which is issues. And then she also finds love. So I suppose this is kind of one of the more uh, easier books of the series because this is more of a romance, but though it is like also family aspect to it. And then the last one is focusing on feminism in general about slut shaming and. Uh, yeah, it's the protagonist in that one starts to blog vlog about feminism and fighting back and how not to be an idiot and stuff like that. Mm. That's very good. 
I'll link it in the doobly of course. And then she also has this one, which I talked about yesterday. Uh, oh, yesterday where I filmed it. Probably won't film post this one today, but anyhow. Uh, and Happy New Year. It's, uh, I suppose, kind of, let's say, epilogue. Uh, it takes place after the trilogy, but it's in the same world. And it's just a novella. It's not huge. Uh, so you get to see, like, where the characters end up half a year after the last book was stopped. So that's good. You still kind of want one more book because you love them so much. But yeah, this is a very fun uh, revisit to them. <coughs> Sorry. And then you have this standalone book. It only have, happens in the movies. Which is about a book about uh, a girl who, in the beginning, she uh, breaks up with her boyfriend. And then she decides to do a project of analyzing romantic movies, rom-coms. So it's kind of has a fun look at rom-coms, really. Like, you look at the feminism rom-coms and stuff. So that's very fun. It also has, like, she just gets a new chance of romance. It's not like it's just a breakup and then no more romance happens. It happens. And, yeah. And, yeah, and so she uh, watches movies through the whole se whole book. So if you like movies, well, this is good for you. Uh, as I said, yeah, Holly Bourne, she's a British author. She writes mostly young adults. Um, she's written, I think, two adult books now. I tried to read one of them last... No, early this year, sorry. Last year? I'm not sure. I wasn't that into it, uh, but you can't love all the books that you try to read. Um, is there anything more to say about her? Uh, yeah, uh, one of her books is on my TBR. Ah, I'm too lazy to get it now. But it's on my TBR for the rest of the year. Probably won't get to it. I might get to it next year. And yeah, just a slight thing also. All of our books have like a issue. Like one of the, like as I said, one of the books are mental, uh, are about, is about mental health. One book is about slut shaming. One book is about family aspects, getting along with your family. One book is about, the book over there is about sexual abuse, so you're kind of thinking, oh, she writes heavy. Well, actually she doesn't. She writes about heavy issues, but it's about a very easy, accessible way to read them. So if you want to, if you want to read more about those issues because you want to learn more about them for fiction, if you want to read more about those issues because you experience stuff like that, anyway, this is a good gateway to that, I think. It is. Holy bone. Check her out. Really great offer. Offer. This has been my office spotlight of Holy Bone. I had initially thought of doing office spotlight every month. That didn't happen. But I do have... I have made some office spotlights and I plan to do more. You might ask, Renee, like, what's your logic for office spotlights? Um... My logic is to uh, highlight authors, authors that I feel like should get more attention. So I will never talk about J.K. Rowling in all of this because everyone and their grandma and great grandma knows about J.K. Rowling. I'll talk about authors that are less known or slightly less known. Of course, most of these authors are they're not obscure because they're bestsellers, most of them, in some way or another. But they might have written books 10 years ago or maybe they were in a slightly less known part of the book tonight or yeah so I want to highlight them which is <coughs> which is what I've been doing so this has been my book talk on Holy Bone on first on Holy Bone enjoy bye